topic is on computer bus. A bus is a collection of parallel wires that transfers data components inside a computer or between the different components in a computer. So, a bus is a collection of parallel wires. There are different types of parallel wires which transfers data components inside a computer or between the different components in a computer. That is, the different data components are CPU, input output unit, memory unit which are connected to each other. So, all these are under the control of bus that is under these units the data is getting transferred from one component to another component through bus. The, this computer bus can be divided into two types internal bus and external bus. So, first we shall see what is internal bus. The internal bus connects all the internal components of the computer like processor primary memory to the motherboard. So, whatever components are present inside the computer, the components which are present inside the computer are connected to each other through internal bus. So, that is the name internal bus. Internal means all the internal components of the computer are connected to each other through internal bus. This internal bus is also known as system bus. There are three different types of internal bus, data bus, address bus and control bus. So, first is the data bus. So, data bus provides a path to transfer data between CPU and memory. So, the data from CPU to RAM is getting transferred whatever data is been there in CPU after it is getting processed it gets transferred to memory it is due to data bus because data bus will provide you a way to get uh, to the whatever data has been there in CPU getting transferred to memory. The data bus consists of 32, 64, 128 lines of wires. I have told you all that bus is a collection of parallel wires. So, this data bus uh, it consists of either 32 lines, 64 lines or 128 lines of wires. So, data bus means it is providing a path to transfer data between CPU and memory. The second type of internal bus is address bus. So, transfer of address between the devices takes place by the address bus. So, in address bus the, uh, the address is getting transferred from between the devices. The third type of internal bus is control bus. So, control bus is being used to coordinate the operations of the computer system. Now, coordinating is first from input unit the data is getting passed to CPU. After CPU the data is getting stored in memory unit and then from memory unit you get the results through output unit. So, all these activities are under the controls of the control bus. So, that is about internal bus. So, internal bus connects all the inner components, all the internal components of a computer like processor to the motherboard. It is also known as system bus and there are three types of internal bus, data bus, address bus and control bus. Second type of bus is external bus. So, by the word external you can understand it is external outside. So, all the components which are present outside the computer that is the different external devices, peripherals, expansion slots are connected to the computer through external bus. So, external bus connects all the different external devices, peripherals, expansion slot to the computer. The external bus allows various devices to be attached to the computer by expanding the computer's capabilities. So, the computer's capabilities is getting expanded by external bus. External bus is also known as expansion bus and it is slower than the system bus. So, external bus means by the word it is outside external. So, the external bus connects all the different external devices to the computer. The external bus allows various devices to be attached to the computer by expanding the computer's capabilities and the external bus is also known as expansion bus and it is slower than internal bus. The next top, the next component of motherboard is input output ports. So, first we shall see what is the definition of port. A port is a socket on the computer used to connect external devices to the computer. So, the devices which are outside the computers like keyboards, scanners, digital cameras, pen drives. So, all these external devices are connected to the computer through a socket known as 
input output ports now in our mobile phones we have got different sockets one is to keep for charging another one is to insert your headphones so that is known as port so here even in the computer we have got different ports that is also known as socket to connect external devices to the computer input output ports are also known as communication ports because it is known as communication ports because an external device is getting communicated to the computer through this input output port so input output port is known as communication ports the different input output ports are serial port parallel port usb port and ethernet port this serial port the serial port is also known as communication port and it is used for communicating devices such as mouse and modem so mouse and modem gets uh, uh, connected to the computer through a port known as serial port so this port transfers data serially one bit at a time so data is getting transferred from one bit at a time using serial port what is parallel port so parallel port is used to connect external input output devices like printers or scanners so printers and scanners get connected to a computer through parallel port and they carry 8 bit at a time 8 bit means 1 byte at a time usb port so it is a very important question that is explaining usb port so usb is universal serial bus it is an advanced input output port that is used to connect variety of external devices such as printers scanners digital cameras speakers pen drives etc to a computer so all these external devices get connected to your computer using usb port which is a advanced input output port usb is also known as plug and play port now plug and play means the devices work with the computer system as soon as they are connected now there is no purpose of uh, switching off your computer or restarting your computer when you connect these external devices as soon as you connect these external devices they start working so a usb port is known as plug and play port usb transmits data with high speed so when you connect the usb the data gets processing at a high speed and up to 127 devices can be connected through usb this type of port is ethernet port it connects to a network and high speed internet so using a network cable you can connect the uh, cable to your computer and that port is known as ethernet port so by network cable that is internet connection which comes so uh, the network cable can be connected to your computer using a port known as ethernet port so i repeat the definition of port is it is a socket on a computer which can be used to connect different external devices to your computer so different uh, input output ports are serial port parallel port usb port and ethernet port